Hi oh guys, this is a bakery machine that has some issues. We've basically got a worn uh, stub shaft and we've also got a very worn cast iron gear that needs a bronze bush. All right, so the gear has now been machined to 39 millimeters, um, ever so slightly over 39.007, which I think is good enough for this old lathe. Um, our next job is to take this chuck off but leave the gear set up, grab that piece of brass that's there, uh, brass, bronze, chuck that up in the free jaw and machine a sleeve for this and then we'll machine it, I don't know, we'll look up what the tolerances are but it's probably going to be like 30 microns, 40 microns oversize for a shrink fit. And um, we'll warm this up. We'll put the bronze in the freezer and uh, we'll warm this up to about 200 or so, maybe a bit more, and drop that in. And then when it shrinks down, we'll have a, um, a new bearing surface. And then what we can do is go in and machine the inside out to whatever our stub shaft is meant to be. And I'll go grab that stub shaft now and we can have a look at how worn it was. This is our new bronze bushing installed. It's turned almost to size internally. We're now gonna mount this four drawer back in the lathe and bore the bronze bush and hope it doesn't fall out. This is um, the N24, which is basically 4130 chrome Ollie steel. One mil depth of cut, 750 RPM, I think we're on. And so it's a bit warm. Cheeky beggars. So I've just took this gear off. This is another idler gear next to it. Look at that. Flipping eccentric. Eccentric epoxy shaft. <sighs> so I don't know whether to take this one out and take this away and copy it because I'm pretty sure this shaft, the original one, it's in the van. It's got a two stamped in the end and that's two as well. So maybe they're the same. And then, so I thought, well, how can they possibly be marking out the position for the grub screw because it takes like a dog point grub screw. Well, look what they've done. They've bloody drilled through the casing of the machine to use a transfer punch, I assume, to dot the point. They must then take this back out of the machine and do the centre drilling with a centre drill, M12, uh, 12 mil centre drill. And this side, I believe they've used the same hole but they've put the oil port in it. So although this gear fits, it's very, very tight and that's too much engagement for this gear. Um, this side, just it's a mile away from fitting. 